What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Force Strategy Gaming, time for some more StarCraft 2 commentary. Today's matchup will be between EG's Puma and Mouse's Hasu. We are on the map dual site. We can see over here in the right hand position is Hasu as our blue Protoss player. And then right over here in the far left hand position we do have got Puma as the red Terran player. Yes, Puma versus Hasu, Terran versus Protoss. Game number one in the series here between these two players on the map dual site. Do you want to take just a quick look around dual site here? You can see right outside that main base, of course, we have got the natural expansion right here. Now, it is very important to note that with the natural expansion, you do have got two areas to have to pay attention to, two openings that definitely want to keep an eye on just to see where your opponent is coming from. In addition to that, we, of course, have the two Zelnaga towers right here in the center of the map, one situated right there, and the other one's going to be right over in this location. And then besides that, we have got third expansions over here, and then on the far right-hand position, there is a high-yield expansion and then also another expansion tucked away in that position. And then, of course, for the op opposing side, it is the exact same thing, just flipped right back around. We can see Hasu right now moving out past the waterfall. Time to get some scouting information. We'll be working right into Puma's base, and he's actually going to be able to delay the uh, dropping of the racks there, and you can see Puma deciding to just pull back a little bit more with that. Uh, he was attempting to go for that wall off, but unfortunately, the probe there of Hasu prevented him from being able to do that, and actually repairing his SCV, which is interesting enough uh, because that is going to cost him some resources early on. Uh, so interesting that he decided to do that. He must have been really concerned about possibly losing it to Hasu's continuous harass, and he Want to just make sure that that did not happen. Hasu will be continuing to dance around the main base here of Puma, uh, trying to, again, be as disruptive as possible. But most importantly, he is just trying to keep up that scouting information and just trying to see exactly what he can see. We do have that refinery up right now for Puma. He's getting that fully saturated. The rack's just about to finish. We'll be seeing that first Marine pop out very likely, as well as that Orbital Command, um, unless he's going straight for the Tech Lab. But no, it looks like he will be starting off with just that Marine and the Orbital, and that's going to force Hasu out of the base now that that Marine is getting relatively close to being finished so we're going to see uh, Hasu decides to hightail it out of there. Now back over inside of Hasu's base, what do we have going on? Everything is pretty much standard here. One gateway is up, Cyber Next Core coming on through, also just sitting on that one assimilator. We do have the probe scout here of Hasu, again just grabbing some minerals, but he will be heading back home. No way he's going to be able to get back inside of Puma's base given the fact that that first marine is already out right now. Now, what is Puma's next step? That is the major question. He's actually pulled guys off the gas, and it looks like he will, in fact, be going for a one Rax expand. With all those guys off the gas, we will be seeing that expansion come down very shortly. And he's actually moving down here with the SCV, and I wonder if he's just getting some scouting information. Yeah, he's actually just checking all over the place. He wants to check for any proxy pylons. Also wants to see if he can spot any hidden tech or anything fancy like that. It's interesting that he's actually moving all about to look for that. Uh, we can see the expansion right now building right here in the corner of the main base, and then once that is finish he'll be turning into an orbital command lifting it off and then dropping it over there at his expansion now back over here what is he doing over here with this scv i'm so intrigued as to what puma will be deciding to do with that we do have Hasu going to be chrono boosting out the initial stalker there, and I'm assuming actually that he will be going for a quick expand build as well. Looks like that's in fact exactly what is going to be happening, so he'll be moving on down to the expansion. We'll just be using these stalkers for the early game to get a bunch of uh, scouting information, try to get some early game map control as well. Uh, you can see he's already got control of both those towers, and if he moves out with those initial stalkers, he might be able to do a bit of damage, but actually there we go, Puma getting that bunker. That's going to allow his marines with that extra range to keep those stalkers back and prevent them from doing too much damage to that frontal wall off although it looks like Hasu is pulling back and oh boy SCV scout managed to make it on in we can see the remnants of it there now I'm not sure how much he was able to in fact scout let's take a quick look at what he saw so he saw the fact that there was uh, no assimilator there at the time but everything he saw was pretty standard except for that I didn't even realize but yes he did uh, scout that expansion so yes it was in fact a one gate expand and a one racks expand so both players going for this very quick expos early on in the game and again, you can see with that extra range there from the bunker, he is in fact able to successfully stop those stalkers from doing too much damage. And I'm actually expecting Hasu to just head back home right now because it's really not a whole heck of a lot he is going to be able to do. Back over here, Hasu coming out with the robotics facility and then we'll be dropping probably two additional gateways. Uh, so there's that first one and here comes that second gateway as well here for Hasu. So again, opening up one gate expand, then going into robotics and getting an additional two gateways. Uh, and this is a relatively standard uh, order here for the one gate expand now with that robotics is obviously going to be able to go straight into an observer get some scouting information and then just try to work on a small force of units and actually in fact deciding to get a fourth gateway and will he be even going for a fifth one very interesting um, probably concerned about the possibility of some sort of a 
some sort of a timing push from Puma. Wants to make sure that he's got enough. And actually, no, just stopping at those four gateways. Uh, but that is honestly enough because a lot of times we will just see three gateways plus the Robo for a while. And then the Protoss player will focus very hard on their economy and even teching up as well. We can see now Puma moving out front to his natural expansion. We'll be lifting off and landing that Orbital Command right over there. Should be seeing some SCVs pulling on over. Now, what do we have here for production buildings? Just sitting on the three racks right now. We'll be pumping out. It's got Stimpak and uh, Concussive Shell's almost finished. And is he going to be going straight for that Combat Shield as well? That's certainly a possibility. Uh, he does have a fair amount of Marines. And I wonder if we will be seeing a timing push here from Puma. If nothing else, he's at least moving out across the map to try to get a little bit of map control, get control of those towers. And we can see that factory is also coming out. That will allow Puma to, of course, work up to that starport and start getting out those medevacs. The Observer Scout now moving out for Hasu. Also a scan going down on top of Hasu's main. Second Observer moving back. Hasu's a little bit concerned about Cloak Banshees. As you can see, he's got some preparation down for that. But here comes a push right now from the middle. We have got a, a fair amount of Marines and Marauders. Combat Shield has just started researching. He's going to be here just in time for Stimpak research to finish. And let's see how much damage he is able to do. Hasu is now stuck in his main with the bulk of his forces force fielding himself out and this is going to allow Puma to do a lot of damage we can see there Hasu concerned about losing this expo just canceling things off Puma has still not dropped the stim pack he's in fact waiting until there's an actual engagement of units and we can see Hasu ew he's, it looks like he's just gonna take the loss there Hasu losing his expansion he did manage to pull all of his pros back here so managing to save a few of those but very nice there by Puma that is an excellent victory early on we can see the number of resources lost for Hasu Hasu's in a uh, very bad position position now. Don't expect Puma to try to continue up this aggression. Uh, he's really not going to be able to push up into Hasu's base, especially with even just a few sentries there. If nothing else, though, he may just try to contain Hasu for a moment or two. We've got one Marine that will be camping out front, but that's not going to be enough. Hasu's finally able to push it out with a few stalkers. And again, we're seeing Puma pull on back. And that's fantastic. That's really exactly what uh, Puma needed to do. And here we go right now. We'll be actually engaging some of these workers, stimming up with a little bit of micro, trying to kill off as many of these workers as possible. Although I do expect Hasu to get on back without losing too many more. He's lost a couple. There we go. Losing more and more. Very nice here by Puma. He's going to try to kill off the one more and he gets it. We'll be losing those Marines though due to those Stalkers. Take a look here at the workers killed. Puma managing to kill off a total of nine workers so far this game. And yes, Puma starting off in a tremendous position. Really, really solid timing push there with that stim research. And he didn't even have to use it. You can see all of his units are nice and uh, full here for HP. He did not have to use that stim pack research. He was saving it until an actual engagement came through. We're going to see Hasu actually attempt to move out with a counterattack because he does realize that he needs to do some damage. We do have some uh, medevacs coming out. None in play yet, but there's a lot of bio here. And I do not think that Hasu really really has enough to engage this at all. Uh, he's going to be thinking twice about pushing up against this. His only saving grace could be some force field action, but still, I really don't think he's got what it takes right now. Uh, he's just trying to do a little bit of damage here and there, get one or two kills if he can. Uh, but yeah, really, <laughs> this is not going to be that successful in all honesty. Hasu better be careful about this decision to engage here. Um, yeah, it's just, I don't know. I don't know what to say. It just does not look like he's got enough. We've got some medevacs here in play as well. There's the scan, so spotting out all of Hasu's forces, and we're going to see Hasu push back. And actually, we've got a scouting factory here sitting right above the tree line. And we're, again, we're going to see Hasu forced to push back right now because at the moment, Puma has just got way too much. And this is a huge problem for Hasu because Hasu really did need to do some damage there, uh, and he wasn't able to do so at all. SCV Scout spotting the fact that the Nexus has been rebuilt. We're also going to see some medevac dropping. So Puma getting ready to drop inside of the main of Hasu. And is Hasu going to be prepared? He's bringing back some forces right now. I'm not sure. We're going to see a little bit of damage go down here from Puma. Stimming up. They're going to be going straight for that Twilight Council. Forced to turn around and engage the bulk of the forces. Nice force field action going on. Is he going to try to lift some off? Looks like he will be trying to pull some back. And using the force fields against Hasu there to pull back his forces nice and safe. Right over the lava pits there. And then we'll be dropping back over here to get some healing action for those bio units that are left. That drop wasn't that successful, but still Puma is quite a bit ahead so far in this game, especially losing that expo. Uh, House is just in a really awful position. We take a look here at the income tab. We can see Puma in a very solid spot. Vision of the high ground allowing him to snipe down that pylon and then just pulling back. And Puma has just been the constant aggressor and there's really been nothing that Hasu has been able to do to respond. He does have some charge upgrades coming out for his zealots. Taking a look back over here, we can see some okay saturation. Nothing going on when it comes to those double assimilators and uh, just continuing 
continuous upgrades. In fact, Puma preparing right now to work his way into his third as well. So this is a very, very rough spot for Hasu. And right now, um, it's not looking like he's got much of a chance. He just really has to find some way of doing a lot of damage sometime soon. Because if he does not, well, he is really screwed. We can see right now he's actually making the decision to push out with his forces. Now that that charge upgrade is finished, he's feeling pretty comfortable to move out. And is actually just forcing back Puma's forces at the moment. Still not making the decision to engage uh, quite as of yet. And we can see now Puma getting very close to finishing that expansion. Taking a look at upgrades. We're 0-1 right now. We've got armor level 1 upgrades coming out for Puma. Back over here for Hasu. He's got 0 upgrades coming through. Finally moving out with those double forge. Again, so delayed in this game. Just from that beautiful timing push that we saw from Puma. Uh, forcing Hasu's uh, expansion to get dropped so very quickly. Uh, so that was, again, a very nice push. We've got another drop coming through. 3 Marauders and 2 marines and that will again be heading to the back here these charged out should be enough to take care of that though not expecting Hasu to be too too concerned about this drop that's coming through I think he'll be uh, more than at adequately prepared to defend against that and here we go the expansion coming on down pylon does get taken care of from that one marauder there and where's that medevac there it is sitting right over here in the corner uh, preparing to drop at some point in the future marauder also doing some scouting right now we've got a marine scouting over here checking for that possible third one zealot moving to the zel naga tower over here uh, yeah you know what this is just a dominant game right now for puma puma is so far ahead I again I don't see uh, I don't see Hasu coming back in this game the one saving grace right now clearly we're, we haven't seen him push out for any aggression the one thing that could save him in this game is Psy Storm if he can get a very nice engagement once this next engagement comes through and if he can manage to get some effective storms off then he might be okay the major concern though is that Puma does have Ghost right now so he will be able to land some EMPs and even possibly trying to get some snipes down that's another possibility for him Scanning forward, moving with his ghost as well. We're about to see this engagement. Puma is ready to push now again on the expansion. He's got those ghosts in the front, and with those, of course, we'll be expecting him to land some EMPs. We're going to see one high Templar try to move down, getting a feedback. He immediately receives a uh, snipe in response. We're going to see another feedback. There we go. That one doesn't kill the ghost, though, unfortunately. Uh, getting it very, very low, but that wasn't a full kill there. So Puma actually deciding to pull back right now. Very nice there by Hasu. Again, just the small little gains are going to help him get himself back in the game. But look at this. Puma right now fully saturated at his third expansion. He's got another refinery coming up. Also that planetary to help defend against any possible DT pushes with that missile turret. And even a small amount of zealots this planetary will help against that tremendously. And uh, again, Puma just with the map control right now, sitting in the center of the map. We're seeing Zealot Heavy with those Psy Storms from those High Templar as well. And uh, continuing to move on down, he's actually pulling back with a few of his High Templar. And there we go. After uh, receiving an EMP, decided to pull all the way back. We've got a Guardian Shield, but here comes the time for the engagement. Did just see a Snipe go down. Puma's continuing to push forward. Snipe on the high ground, getting the High Templar. And that was absolutely beautiful. Vision of the high ground from his medevacs allowed those ghosts to snipe there. That was an, a wonderful, wonderful uh, snipe there by Puma. Very, very impressed indeed. Factory Scout moving down just to spot the army of Hasu. He just wants to see where, how much, and exactly what he has. So we can see right now getting a full scout. He sees, okay, Zealot, Zealot heavy, and <laughs> a couple centuries in the mix, and also a few High Templar. But that Factory Scouting, very effective. And here we go right now. Ghost pushing forward. There's an EMP landing on the bulk of the army. Also scanning on the high ground trying to check for any possible high Templars. The engagement is about to come through right now. Ahasu is very tentative to engage. He needs to be so careful about those EMPs. Uh, that's the last thing that he wants to get hit with. And again, both players just kind of moving back and forth here. And here it comes right now. Some more EMPs going down. And Puma has been taking the constant EMP action. Snipe going down on the high Templar. Massive EMPs. And Puma not dealing. He's dealing with one storm right there. He pulls out of that immediately. But I don't even know if there's any High Templar left to land some storms. We've got three High Templar, but I'm not seeing any more storms or anything else. And most of the forces here for Hasu have just so much of their HP lost right now. So much of their shields lost. And the bio stimmed up will just be tearing through the rest of the forces. Another EMP goes down. And look at that Puma. Very dominant game for him. Getting the GG from Hasu. Great game number one here between Puma and Hasu. Puma showing why he is such a dominant Terran player with just with complete control all game against Hasu. A nice stim timing push taking out the expansion plus constant aggression from Puma allowed him to quite handedly take this game. All right, guys, that was game number one. Game number two coming up in just one moment. As always, if you like the content, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Keep watching and keep owning.